When you enter aged care, what do you imagine it will be like? You probably wouldn't think that you'd end up seeing China for the first time, or Paris, or the Great Pyramid of Giza. But that's what's happened for Julie Murphy. She's a resident at Cedar Place in Kempsey, and thanks to a Red Cross program, the residents there are given time in a special virtual reality headset that can take them all over the world. I couldn't stop turning around, looking up face, sideways, every which way. It was just great. So I'm Paula Watson, I'm the Community Programs Officer with Australian Red Cross, based in Kempsey. Red Cross got a COVID funding a few years ago, which we brought the virtual reality silver headsets with. So we use them in different aged care facilities and take the residents on a virtual reality tour in all different places all around the world. We've taken some of our residents to Paris and the Eiffel Tower and we went to Notre Dame. We went to Alaska and we've seen the Northern Lights and there was cows and different things like that in it as well. There's one lady up there that did, could not sit still. She kept moving around because it's 360 view. Makes you feel like you're 3D, you're really there with them. When the cows are there, they're reaching out trying to catch the cows. We've had ones that have toured around the world and so they're reminiscing on their experiences that they've had. When we went to Paris, one lady said, I've been there, I've seen the Eiffel Tower and then in the virtual reality tour, we took her on top of the Eiffel Tower and she said, oh, I've never done this before, we never got to go up. So she was not only reminiscing on her memories, she was also expanding on hers where other residents who have never been overseas got to see all the different places firsthand this way. I'm Julie Murphy, I'm Cedar Place Kempsey. I hear you are one of their biggest fans. I really enjoyed it. Well, I didn't know what I was going into, but when they turned it on, all the different countries you could visit, it was just like being there in real life. I just loved it. Oh, we went to Holland, Germany, there was England, Scotland, Ireland and Wales, through America. Oh, there were so many. They were just wonderful, because I've never been overseas. Oh, you, so this was your first chance to, you know, experience those places. What Did you have a favourite? Oh, Scotland's my favourite because I just love Scotland. I love anything to do with Scotland. And um, when it came to going overseas as well, you got to interact with some animals a little bit. What was that like? That was so much fun. They come right up close to you and you'd be, you'd be smiling back at them and ducking your head when they'd come up. It was great fun. You felt it was so real. Did you ever catch yourself sort of walking forward and up to them or bending under them? I did that all the time, patting the animals and looking down at the water. It was great. I also understand you said you haven't travelled overseas, but did you get to visit the War Memorial? I did. Oh, that was wonderful to me because my father's name's there. We went a long time ago. But it was just wonderful to go in and see the names and different things were there. It was lovely. That's what I love. Is there anywhere you really want to go? Well, I did love the Middle East too. Love it over there. Seeing all the um, pyramids and sphinx and just all the places through there, I loved it. With the silver as well, the people we brought it off from silver, uh, you get onto them and you can give them different addresses and they will find that address and put load it up to the system for us so we can go back. So I had one lady in another facility, she wanted to see her childhood home. So we found her childhood home and got a picture of the front of it because her daughter kept saying, Mum, you won't recognise the house now, it's been renovated, you know, you won't recognise it. So we took her back to her childhood street and she got to look around the street and she's like... I remember their house so she could remember the neighbours and then she finally realised, hang on, mine's been renovated and, yeah, so she could reminisce back in her childhood house and we've had a married couple who were at um, Cedar Place and they got to see their church they were married in and different things like that. So, yeah, it is very good and you can personalise it as well. Well, just tell them to put them on and watch it. You can't miss anything, it's just wonderful.